and clogs in the parts of a reggae room. We got denim jeans, you gotta keep them clean. You can't can't be dirty, do you know what I mean? They got right from the beginning, they took off like a rocket, and they succeeded on a level that almost no other group before them had succeeded. They were the first rappers on MTV. They were the first rappers on Saturday Night Live. They were the first rappers on the cover of Rolling Stone. Run DMC were the guys who really took it. You gotta do a song by that type of yeah? Yeah. This is Ron. I'm DMC in a place to be. Yeah. I'm Jam Master J. Hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, I, I probably should ask you what's been happening since we saw you last. <laughs> Uh, well, we but just, you may not feel like talking about it. I talk about we just came from Holland and Germany and England and France and everywhere, and now I'm here. And I don't go home. Next guest, under the guidance of Mr. Russell Simmons, have taken the art of rapping to music's highest levels. This is their latest single on the profile label entitled Hit and Run, and they are Run DMC. <laughs> He's putting out, he's shopping them right now. Run, he got a, um, a gospel label called Rep and Run Records, and that's hitting right now. He's doing some hip hop gospel type stuff. This gonna be real cool. Um, myself, I got JMJ Records doing a couple of RB things. Onyx is coming out. We're doing finishing up their second album, It's the Bomb. And I got my man JL Felony. He here right now. JL. JL Felony from San Diego. I got a little man. West Coast flavor coming out of JMJ. What's up, man? What's up, you know? Man? Feel you. Why? So that's my man J.O. That's how we doing it in, in 95. J.O. found him straight up. Right, so this is like when DMC is like, boom. Since well, we you know, I think going to make some up stuff. Yeah, so. we've been, people been asking us to be down for since Public Enemy, you know, LL Cool J. A lot of people's Russell got came right to us. So right now it's just like we just okay. doing it. And Russell was, we all family. Now we're doing it together. Wow. And that's how the whole Jam J Records came up. That's good. That's good. So right, man, got Run DMC. Reminding you to watch. Entertainment AT. Do you guys see a trend in the mixing of rap music with heavy metal music? What do you mean by a trend by like other people trying to do it, what we do? Well, this is not like the first rap record and with rock on it, and it won't be the last. I'm sure other people will want to do something that's successful, you know what I mean? Like when the first person made Burger King, the next person said, hey, I want to give me a Burger King store too, you know what I mean? So, of course, people will try to do something that they know is successful. How about on the streets right now? What other trends do you see happening in music that the kids relate to? I don't know. What is it doing? All the kids? Well, well basically, they, um, they get more raw, you know what I'm saying? Going back to basics. and yeah, Everybody's going back to the basics. And back, they're telling stories now, funny stories, you know, stuff that you wouldn't normally do because you so hard trying to sell a rap record. But now that we have established that, we can you know, nice. introduce to the people let them see how versatile it is. What influences in music affected you when you were growing up? Um, what, how, how are these influences shown in your music? Well, we always listen to, we, was, we always like hardcore music, hardcore tapes that they used to have around our neighborhood, meaning that we didn't like 
we like R&B. We listen to the radio and listen to disco, but we usually like when MCs would get on the mic and have the echo chamber say, it's like that, y'all, y'all. You don't stop, stop, stop. Keep on, on. You know what I mean? And it's just the beat play, and the guy will rhyme over the beat for an hour. Steps up. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, you're done. Y'all beat me too. That's right. I saw the last one. Yo, welcome back, and of course, fellas, you know I've been on you guys for quite a while, yeah, right? You know. And I know everybody out there who's watching Rap City want to know, what took Run DMC so long to come out? Well, actually, we set up two record companies. Right. We got JMJ Records with the Afro. Uh, we got JDK Records, that's our record company. We got Smooth Ice, a man to jump out of helicopter, you know, beat people up. With Jake James Bond to rap. So we made like six albums within this time. Right. Our album and five other artists. So, you know, we've been real busy, but we've just been out of the public eye, so that's why we're back from hell, actually, because it's like, yeah, I want to talk about yeah, it. it's like, you know, going through hell, when you're not with your fans, not doing the 20,000 seaters, not, you know, record store promotions, you're away from your fans, so we would felt like we were in hell, but now we're back, and right. it feels good. And, you know, a lot of people call, a lot of people call and run DMC to come back kids, you know? Yeah, well, I, you know, I want to know is, what's the life expectancy of a, of a rapper? I don't know, we, we the first group to put out five albums. They all went platinum, so, you know, there is no expectancy. You know, expectancy, how do how you expect to live? Because that's the question. We can rap until we, you know. Like, no. You know, expectancy, how do you expect to live? Because that's the question. We can rap until we, you know. Like we begin with a fatal shooting of a rap music legend. The shooting tonight in a recording studio in Queens, taking the life of the man known as Jam Master J. His real name, Jason Mizell, one of the founders of the groundbreaking rap group Run DMC. Jim Dolan with Late Details. He's in Jamaica, Queens for us tonight. Jim. Bill Jam Master Jay knew the absolute heights of the hip hop world as a member of the pioneering rap group Run DMC. He, of course, was their DJ. And having stayed in the industry all these years, he knew well about the feuds that so often result in violence and death in the rap world. Well, tonight, according to sources close to this investigation, a 37 year old Jason Mazel, Jam Master Jay, was working in a recording studio here in Jamaica. He and a 25 year old male Hispanic were relaxing in a lounge near the studio when a man walked into the studio, gun drawn and open fire. Mazel was struck once in the head and killed instantly. Another, The other man was seriously injured, shot once in the chest. Police have no one yet in custody. Friends, including uh, industry, uh, including the uh, liar Cohen, the CEO of Island Def Jam Records, gathered outside, stunned that it happened to the man who was such a huge part of hip-hop's rise and worldwide popularity, and shocked, too, that it all went down in such a brazen manner. The gunman walking in, firing, and then just casually walking out. Police believe they have good leads in this case and that witnesses got a good look at the shooter here. There's also security camera tape, we are told. Mazel was at the studio producing an album by two young women. They were in the studio when they heard gunshots. They came running, of course, but it was too late. Get your, uh, hip-hop music on. I mean, to ask for the future of hip-hop music, it's going, it's just like asking for the future of music, it's going. Because hip-hop, we really don't have a music. We started off, we take all kinds of music and turn it into hip-hop, jazz, rock and roll, you know, R&B. So, um, we'll be rapping forever. You know, people used to ask, how long do you think this rap game goes? world over. He was a DJ for Run DMC, born in Brooklyn, raised in Queens. His death 18 years ago still hurts. Last time I saw him, he was in the park playing baseball with the kids. It devastated us all. We didn't know what to do. We just loved Jay. In Hollis, a mural in honor of Jam Master Jay still sits to this day. Rappers look up to Jam Master Jay like, because he, he set the outlet for us to, to do what we wanted to do in the industry. While many still remember his work, what was left unknown until now is why he was killed and who did it. That question now answered after a grand jury returned indictments on Carl Jordan Jr. and Ronald Washington. And they walked in and they murdered him in cold blood. Federal prosecutors revealed in court documents Jam Master Jay, whose real name is Jason Mizell, had been trafficking cocaine. 
They say Jordan and Washington plotted his murder after they were cut out of a deal. For NYPD Chief of Detectives Rodney Harrison, these charges carry some significance. Me being a native of Queens uh, and being a big fan of Run DMC and Jam Master J, uh, making this arrest was very, very important to me. Meanwhile, just two blocks from where that crime was committed, there's still reminders of the legacy left behind. Run DMC, they were like superheroes. Eric Jewel Dabney never met Jay, but their stories are intertwined. Years after Jay was killed, he leased the same studio space where he was gunned down. He found records, home movies, posters, all left behind. Focus on witnesses and security cameras. The studio where Jay was shot is outfitted with several security cameras, but did they capture the killer? Jim Dolan is live in Jamaica, Queens with late details for us. Jim? Uh, Diana, there are four security cameras between the door and the lounge where Jam Master Jay was murdered last night, but there was not videotape in all of them, and so there are still open questions. Was there an accomplice and was there a struggle before the fired shots? Well, on those subjects, ABC News has learned there is some disagreement among the witnesses. Well, the case was unsolved for 15 years. Mm -hmm. But then in 2017, authorities announced they actually have two suspects that are being charged with it. Uh, Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr., who happens to be the godson yeah, yeah, of GM Master J. Yeah, I, guess, I guess this was... Uh, Run DMC's bodyguard's son? No, he wasn't a bodyguard. He was a um, he was a road manager. Okay, road That's manager. Because Leo Cohn became the road manager. He got he, it. He's a road manager. Yeah, and I mean Carl Jordan Jr. On his Instagram page, he's sitting next to Jam Master J mural, so I'm like, yo, I miss my man and rest in peace and everything else like that. And you come to find out that this is one of the two dudes that allegedly killed him. Yeah. Yeah, but you heard that? I heard it. And I, and I know him. I know him. You know both those guys or just Carl? I know the other guy, you know, because the night, the night when I went to Jay's house, before, you know, for the wake and all that, we go, you pay respect. He was there. Wait, 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 wait. Carl Jordan Jr., the guy who's charged with killing Jam Master yeah, Jay. the other one. Went, oh, oh, uh, Ronald Washington. Tenard, he was there. He goes to Jam Master Jay's wake. He was no. He goes to his house. He was living in Jay's house. His house. He was living in his sister's house. He yeah. was living in the house. Yeah. Congratulate you on being inducted into Hollywood's Rock Walk. That's got to be awesome. Thank and you. I know you've had a, you know a lot of pit stops to make here and stuff, but I mean, is this like winning the gold at the Olympics to you? Yeah. This is yeah. like we 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 looked at this like you know. If you win awards for songs and albums and how well your year went, it's like a lifetime achievement award mm -hmm. from the whole rock and roll, you know, from music to us. It's like a lifetime achievement award, not from the Grammys or not from the American <coughs> Music Awards, but from music. Uh, you guys are innovators. That's why you're getting this.